Hi Virgo. So today I'm going to be doing your daily. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, oh God, you guys want to talk to me. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Okay, happy Monday. How is everyone doing today? I know I'm doing pretty good. I'm just a little confused about how I'm going to do this learning, uh, this learning exercise with my kids all the way into November when the market period is over. I feel like I'm going to have to turn my living room into a schoolhouse. Okay. That's cool, but jeesh. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Here we go, Virgo. Here we go. Yep. So, there's some shit going on. So, we have releasing your ex in reverse. So, you're you're holding back from releasing somebody that you need to release. It's telling you to free yourself here. Um, it's time to take back control of your life and let your friends help you. Ask your friends for support with others. And then at the bottom of the deck is calling in your soul bait. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations will help you bring your partner together. So what I'm telling you right now, you're going to have to let whatever person, whatever this ex is, go so that you can go and find happiness elsewhere. Okay? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. It's crazy. This is talking to y'all today. Death in reverse. Again, you're going to have to let someone go so something else can come in. Look at this. Three of cups in reverse. Do not take this person back. Whoever this ex person is, it's a no, okay? That's what I'm entitled to. Do not take your ex person back. Don't. Yeah. Hey, man, you need to look at things from a different perspective here. They're coming with them top. Yeah, let me tell you something. Could be communication. I had the eight of, eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. This person is bringing nothing but conflict and devil energy to you. Really dark person. Yeah, they're going to just fuck shit up again. Wow. Okay, so I feel like we should just get some more energy on this person because at the end of the day... We already know the situation. It's very fucking clear. This person is, like, not the best person. Okay, so spirit, please tell me what this person that Virgo is speaking, speaking, speaking to or thinking about is thinking. Hey, man, in reverse, they're not looking at things from a different perspective, from your perspective. This, this person might be very selfish. Yeah, magician, they're very manipulating and they want to come back. So this person wants to come back to manipulate you. Yeah, look, again, the devil came out again. This person is making you trying to decide to be with them. And I feel like you, you really haven't let this person go, so you're thinking about it. Yeah, look, two of swords. You're thinking about it, but you don't know. Oh, shit. How is this person manipulating my Virgo? What are they doing? They telling you all the shit you want to hear probably telling you they want to be in a relationship but what's the toxicity behind this person what is it yeah this person this person wins at all costs with you they don't mind fucking you over to make themselves happy so why are you so indecisive you know what this person is about already because you want to be with this person it's stressing you out but spirit says you have to release this person and i'm telling you, you have to release them too yeah here they come offering you some small type of stability or probably like taking you on gifts and shit i mean taking you on trips giving you gifts and shit or taking you on dates but this person is doing all of this shit to manipulate you yeah they're working you 
Yeah, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but this person's emotions, they're not even telling you how they really feel. Yeah, they're probably hitting you with mad sex right now. If this person isn't hitting you with mad sex, then they're coming at you very passionately, giving, telling you everything that you want, giving you everything that you want, everything that you wish for on purpose to manipulate you. Yeah, they're trying to get you to, to they're trying to sway you, Spirit said. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, with the Two of Pentacles, this person doesn't even know if they really want to move forward towards you. That's why they might be moving a little slow. That could be you, too. Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's still going to end in heartbreak. So I really wouldn't take a chance with this person. Yeah, with the Ten of Wands, it's going to get heavier and heavier until you release it. Okay, spirit. Oops. Please give me the ending. Five of Swords. Okay, so I see you um, not stressing about this so much anymore, which is great. Yeah, Three of Cups. And if you, I see you still trying to go towards this person. You're still going to try to reconcile with this person, but I'm telling you, it's going to end in sadness. Yeah, this person, this this leap of new faith that you're about to take with this person, this passionate new start, is going to make you sad. What is the advice, Spirit? Let it go so you can end something else. It's time for you to go. Okay? It's time for you to end it. The death card. Something new will begin. What is the newness that's coming in after uh, Virgo ends this situation? What is the newness? Look at this. Something that you really wish for. Wow. Look at this. But you have to wait. There is going to be some waiting involved. But this person is not the person. All right, thank you.